crafty duo. My name is Annie and this is my son Dylan. My grandson Dylan and we are going to share some arts and crafts with you today. This is Lola. Hi. Lola. Hi everybody. Lola 60. Lola. And uh, we're going to show you how to make some fun Sock. sage so you could have puppet shows. I made card. that one. Yeah, he made this one. We made this like last year sometime. Yes. I think this well, was like last year when yeah. I was five. When he was five. He's six now. But um, we're going to show you out of a cardboard box how to make your own puppet uh, stage so you can have great fun. Okay, Lola, I'm going to set you down so we can get started on how to make sock puppets. We're going to uh, use some very simple materials, and we definitely like to recycle. Yes. But before we get started, we kind of want to go over some tips. Remember, Dylan, about the tips? Yes, got to have tips. We got to have tips so that way, you know, everything's orderly and you don't make a great big Please remember to cover your table with like a plastic tablecloth or newspaper. Or like a cutting board, a ginormous cutting board. A ginormous cutting board, or something. several cutting, cutting so boards. So you won't mess up the furniture, right? Yes. The second tip is to stay... Organized. To stay organized, to try to have all your tools in little containers that way you're not running around all over the house trying to get everything together. It makes it easier for you to finish your project. The next step is to always stay tidy by having, could you hand me that bag? Yes, yeah, it's like a box or a bag. Or a something. bag or something so you can put all your trash and that way when you're done you're just going to throw it in the trash can and you don't have to worry about cleaning up too much mess. You're staying organized as you go along. Right, Dylan? Mm-hmm. So sock puppets are so much fun. We got the idea uh, by just being creative and thinking of inventive ways to use materials that we already have around the house. Like who doesn't have socks lying around where there's only one sock and you can't find the other? Has yeah. that ever happened to you, Dylan? Yeah, if you're like mom or your grandma is like a knitter, you'll probably have some of these. You probably have some yarn, and we're going to go over the materials here, but here's a great idea to jumpstart some of your sock puppets. There's books in the library or books you can buy at the bookstore, or uh, there's also stuff on the Internet on Pinterest where you could get a lot of really cool ideas to make sock puppets. You can make uh, characters, you can make animals, you can make all kinds of fun stuff. And you can check out materials um, in the library, the San Antonio Public Library. I think they just opened curbside, so you can order books and then go pick them up from the library that's closest to you. Or you could check books out online. So just because we're having the COVID uh, epidemic doesn't mean that you can't still have fun reading and checking out books. Right, Dylan? Mm -hmm. So let's get started with our sock puppets. I'm going to use this sock because that's how I made Lola. And we're going to try to use techniques, again, that are easy, that don't require a lot of uh, stitching or sometimes you might have to glue things, but you'll want to find the shortcuts that will help you create a fun puppet without anything that's too dangerous for kids. Yeah, kind of like a stapler. You might have one laying in your house somewhere, just kind of dangerous. Oh, I was going to show you some examples. This is one, because uh, there's different socks that you might have at home, like this fuzzy fox, or sock rather, is one that uh, his, My, aunt meant, his aunt made, right? And then he, uh, when I, every time she would call me, well, it was like when I was four or five, Yeah. but she would call me, and then she would have that sock. His name was Meepo. His name is Meepo. And he had that sock, like as a puppet. Yeah, so remember when you first met Meepo? Yeah. Were you kind of scared of him? No. You weren't? No. <laughs> you didn't talk to him. 
Remember, he's got a nose that lights up too. It's kind of hard to see because it's a lot of light here. I do. I am scared of clowns. That's the fact. Oh, he's scared of clowns. Yeah, that one that fact. happens. That happens. But it's here's an example of a sock using uh, one of those fuzzy winter type socks. But almost any sock would work. You know, it could be a big sock. It could be a little sock. Where's this guy? Here's, uh-oh, his eye fell off. Yeah, wait, where is it? <laughs> where is the eyeball? Here's this short sock. Eyeball fell off. Here's this other little sock. She's got long hair. We made some pigtails for her, right? You can have fun with the yarn. We've also got another example of a sock. I'm going to have yarn to make some hair for your puppet using an old t-shirt. So I'm going to put this guy here. Okay. And at some point of the day, yeah. we're going to test you how to like decorate puppets and stuff like that. We're going to show them that. Okay, so the first thing to do is to get your sock. Mm -hmm, get your sock. And you got your sock? Oh, wow. You're going to use this one. Okay, well, I guess I'll use this one. And this, the part where your toes go, you're going to try to stuff that inside your mm. fingers like that. You got it? And then like this part where the bottom where the heel yeah, is. Yeah, the, the heel and it's where you're going to put your knuckles. That's where you're going to put your knuckles where the heel of the sock is. All right. And then if you happen to have some of these craft fuzzy balls, can you see that? They're little fuzzy balls. You can get them at the craft store. They come in different colors, different sizes. It doesn't matter so much the colors, but the important thing is to get a nice size fuzzy ball. Cause and it, um, it can't be one of these because then it's not going to show it's up. It's not going to show up. It's going to be too tiny. What we're going to do is put the fuzzy balls inside the sock, two of them, to create the eyeballs, right? Mm -hmm. And that kind of gives the sock puppet a little more emphasis on where his eyes are rather than drawing uh, the eyes. You know, there's a lot of ways you can do it. You can actually glue. Oh, here's the eye. Yeah, we can glue the fuzzy on there. But I kind of uh, thought of this idea, which is fun. Again, you don't have to use needle and thread. What you're going to do is if you have some rubber bands, like these are the thin rubber bands that come from the grocery store. They wrap your vegetables in it. They're really thin. Or sometimes you have these thin hair bands that you use on your hair. Any kind of rubber band would work, but the, the thin ones are easy. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do next is what, Dylan? What we're going to do next is put a rubber band under here, look. And you put it right there, and then I would rather do it with your whole hand instead of with your finger, because if you do it with one finger, it's going to take more work to do. Right. So make sure you put your whole hand in the you rubber You could put bag. your whole hand in there, or if your hands are really small, you could take the sock off mm -hmm. and then just uh, situate your eyeballs. Remember, the heel is here where your knuckles are, and then you're going to stuff some of that toe part of your sock inside, that's going to be the mouth. Then you're going to attach your rubber bands. And this way too, you don't have to wait so long for the glue to dry. That's always a problem, right? You're kind of anxious to get started with your craft and then you got to wait for the glue to dry. This way it's just like, hello. Instant, right, Dylan? Mm hmm. All right. So, are you, everybody with me? Yes. And by the way, as you're watching the show, ask if, questions. If you have any questions, you can type the questions on your Facebook, and Miss Virginia will let us know any questions you might have. We'll try and answer them for you. Don't know, you figured out what you tell us. <laughs> if you don't know the answer, we'll try to look it up.
Or you, if you have the answer, you can share it with us, and we'll share it with everybody else, too. Every single person in the world. But everybody in the world needs to know the answers to these questions, too. They might have the same questions. People in China. Okay, so where are we going to go from here? We're going to add some hair. I mean, the main thing is that as you get started with your puppet, you're going to start to see some of the character of the puppet. Do you know what that word means? Character, character. means like someone on TV or book like, or Yeah, like some. a certain personality, somebody that has a certain kind of personality, right? Like a fun personality or a kooky personality or everybody has personality, right? Mm -hmm. So we're going to try to develop the character as we go along because it starts to stir your creativity, right Dylan? Mm -hmm. So what kind of color of hair do you think this character? I, I think it would be goldfish hair. That one, yeah. okay. Now here's another fun part when you're making the hair. Here's some samples on this little puppet here. She's got long hair, but I pretty much stuck with one type of yarn, this gray color. And this guy too, he's got one color hair, but her, Lola, she's got different color hair. She's got way more personality, right, Dylan? Mm -hmm. Did you already weave? Oh, you know what? We probably need to take that off. We're not gonna use that part. Okay, so we're gonna use this color. Here's an idea. If you want your puppet to have a lot of character, you're gonna use maybe three different colors. We're gonna go with this color and what else, Dylan? Pick this, another yarn. Yeah, you gotta pick another yarn. Maybe um, this one. I, I like this one. Let's go with that one, and then let's try this one. Okay, we're gonna show you with yarns, and even if you just have one color, that's okay. You can make that work. Or if you don't have any yarn, I'm gonna show you how you can make an old t-shirt work. So let's say you pick three different colors or di different stands, strands of yarn. The next thing you're gonna do is to grab a little piece of cardboard. Now this piece of cardboard is like about maybe four or five inches long and maybe two and a half inches across. And we're gonna use this, gonna use this as a guide for our hair. Are you paying attention, Dylan? Yes. Are you with me? Yes, I'm with you. Okay, so we're gonna wrap it around like how many times do you think? Maybe three times? Mm, five. Five. Five is a good number. So I think one more time. Maybe. All right. So now that we wound it around the card five times, then we're gonna cut it off here. All right. And like I said, if your mom uh, weaves, she can probably ask her to make. Yeah. Like if you need a bell or uh, something like that, you can ask her to make one of these. Well. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> okay, so getting back to the hair. Sandwich or bread bag uh, twisty ties. Do you have some of these at your house? Yes. The little twisty ties that come with the bread. Certain things, you know, to close the bag back up or whatever. It's got a wire in there. If you don't have these bread bag twisties, another thing that might work would be the... The uh, pipe cleaners. Pipe cleaners, thank you. And what I forgot to remind you, you mm -hmm. don't always have to use the fuzz balls. You can use these little stars like I did. I made a sock puppet. I made a clown. You could. You could use uh, these like little stars. And I, you put can... it, I put it on my dummy so I could beat the clown up because you know I hate clowns. You don't like clowns at all, right? So that's a way to make eyes and maybe if you want to make a clown. That could be the bad character, right, for you. I just beat it up. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I cut it and then put glue it to my dummy and then beat it up. Okay, so here's the thing about making the hair with the uh, sock puppet. Are you with me? Yes. Did you want to wrap some hair for yourself so we can demonstrate that one on your sure. puppet over here? Uh-huh. Let's see. We, let's, put, let's put hair on this one. Uh-huh. Pick a couple of yeah. strands of yarn. Okay, so what we're going to do, we got the twisty tie. And what we're going to have to do is to poke a hole in the sock, in the area where the heel is. 
and you might want to use a pencil or let's see if you have one of these little shish kebab sticks with a pointy with a pointed end I'm just gonna make a hole right in the middle of his head you see that right in the middle of his head so that Complicated. hole we're gonna use to draw the twisty tie in wait, there. Wait, 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 come on. Don't tangle it all up. Come on. Are you gonna need some help with that? Come on. I think I got it. You got it? Mm -hmm. Uh where are my sisters? Your grandma might need to help you with that. Okay, so I got one part of the twisty up there. Then I'm gonna put another hole right next to it. See that? I put another hole right next to the first hole. And then I'm going to get the other end of the twisty tie and draw it through. See, where's my hole? This is a little bit tricky sometimes. That's why you might need your mom or your grandma to help, right? Mm-hmm. But remember, there's no wrong or right. It's just about having fun. Fun. It's just about having fun. There's no wrong or right. So here you have it. You can see how I drew the little twisty tie on there. So what I'm going to do now is to take the yarn off the card and find the middle point of the yarn. We're going to come over here and place the yarn, the middle section of the yarn, right in between the two pieces of the twisty wire. And we're going to pull real tight, make sure that that yarn is secured on there. We're going to maybe turn it how many times? Five. Yeah. Five is a good number. All right, there you have your yarn. It's anchored in place. Then the next step will be to cut the loops open. Okay, so you're going to cut the loops open. And look at her hair. Isn't that sweet? <laughs> yeah. Isn't that adorable? Wouldn't you love to have hair like that? I would. Look at that. Beautiful hair, the colors, oh my God. Now here's another trick. Maybe you have your yarn and it's just like, um, doesn't have all these fun furry uh, characteristics to it. So what you can do is you can take your yarn hey, and Grandma. start to separate the strands of can yarn. Can I have one of those uh, things, those wire things? Oh, those are yeah. Here you go, babe. I might need to help you put that wire in. But see what I'm doing here is separating the strands of the yarn. So that gives the hair maybe a little bit more character, right? Makes it a little frizzy if you want to have frizzy hair. Some people don't like frizzy hair. I think it's kind of fun. Because you need to touch all of the hair. Yeah, so let me put this back on so you can kind of see how that's going to fall into place. See that? Mm -hmm. That's just really gorgeous, gorgeous. Gorgeous. Do you like your hair? Yeah. You do? Mm -hmm. So that's an idea. Now if you wanted to make longer hair, again, you'd put another little twisty wire on each side maybe cut longer strands of yarn, you know, to make pigtails or make longer hair. And you could just have fun. You could have less hair, more hair, one color. A t-shirt, let's say you don't have yarn, but maybe you have an old t-shirt. Here's how I made this guy's hair. See What's these? his name? He looks like, that guy's name is Soupy. Sufi? <laughs> That's a good name. Sufi, we'll go with that. See these long pieces of cord or thread? These are so easy to make. You get an old t-shirt. 
Like here's an old t-shirt I just like started to cut off the bottom of the t-shirt. What we did is maybe cut about, I'm going to say a quarter of a, a quarter of an inch, maybe half an inch, however wide you want it to be. And just cut along the bottom of the t-shirt all along. You see that? That's pretty easy. Then once you get to the other side, you have your sock puppet. Oh no, there it is. You doing okay? Yeah, I'm doing fine. Gene, I think maybe you put way too much yarn in there. I'm gonna have to take a look at that in a second. Yeah. Here we are. We're gonna cut a piece of the yarn on one side. You could leave it all one size, it doesn't matter, or cut the other end. And then when you pull on it, you get that effect. You see, when you pull on the t-shirt material, it makes it like a stiff cord. Yeah, that's pretty easy. Anybody can do that. And it's very easy to make puppet. I mean, you could use this cord for anything. You could even make it to create yourself a little necklace, put a shell on there if you're going to go to to the beach, that would be a fun cord for that too. It's like I am. Mm -hmm. Going to the beach. He's going to the beach next week. Why are you going to the beach next week? My birthday on it. You mean this week? I'm going to the beach this week. That's right. Next week, this coming weekend is Dylan's birthday. All right. <laughs> right? Yeah. Aren't you excited about your birthday? Of course. Happy not. birthday to you. I expect that. <laughs> so, um, Do you like my hair, guys? You can tie uh, the ends of the cord if you want to make it look like a little more uh, multicultural. There's that puppet there. Okay. So getting back to this sock puppet, now, the next thing to do is to add the eyes and the lips. Yes. Okay. Um, you want, uh, For the lips, you could just cut out like little cut-off circles. Like you cut a circle, cut it in half. Right. I'll take so, do you want to use the pink ones? So, Dylan's going to show how we're going to put the mouth. You can put those lips on her. And then, so, Dylan, if you have a stapler, if you have a stapler, like a do you want to put them on her? No, I want to put them Oh, you can put it on your puppet. Yes, right here. So, you can just like put the lip right here, the first part, mm -hmm. and then take the stapler mm -hmm. and staple. But right. You could use glue. Again, it's a matter of... It's just take, it just takes longer. It just time. takes longer, and uh, you could use this tacky glue. I think I demonstrated this last Come show, on. the first show we did, because this is a thicker glue, and uh, this one dries faster. But either way, sometimes if you glue stuff, like this is felt. This material is called felt. Comes in squares at the craft, sh at the craft store. So you can buy different colors of felt. You need help with that? Let's see, babe. Oh, I got it. Hey. You got it. Mm -hmm. Let me do this one. We're going to put a red mouth on this one. So there's that. I have this back. Let's staple. I'm going to staple this one over here. And then I'm going to show you how I did that. There you go. Thank you. So here's an idea for your mouth shapes and some of the other shapes that you uh, want to make, cut out the felt. Is you can always create a little guide for yourself by cutting the, by cutting, uh, I mean drawing or pe with pencil on a piece of white paper the shapes. Like your lips, you're just going to draw a heart. That's what he's putting on there and that could be lips. Or if you want a mouth, you just draw a circle, cut it in half, 
or eyelashes. I can show you how to do the eyelashes. You just cut a little strip and then put some scores or cut, cut the eyelashes. I'll show you how to do that too. Let's say we're going to make eyelashes out of this. And My guys, what's up? Did you finish your puppet? Yeah. Where's the eyeballs? You didn't put your eyeballs on there. <laughs> I know. I don't even put any eyeballs. Not yet. Not yet. You could, Dylan. You could glue some on there. Look, if you didn't want to make the ones with rubber with rubber bands, or remember, you were gonna put those eye those big eyeballs on this one. You did <laughs> these at home. Remember? Mhm. Mm did you want to put those big googly eyes on him? Yes. All right. Did you want to use that tape that I bought, that special uh, tape? Yes. But instead I might, of glue? Hold on. I want to pick, uh, instead of the huge ones, yeah. I want to go with uh, these little green ones. Okay. You pick whatever eyes you want to put on that guy. Okay. So getting back to the eyelashes. So sorry. All I did was cut a strip of black felt. And where's there that you tape? Have. Can you give me the tape? The special one? Yeah. The special tape is right here. Here's another tape that Grandma found at the craft store. It's mm -hmm. called uh, double-sided foam mounting tape. And this is very handy because it has adhesive on both sides. You're just going to cut a little piece, right, Dylan? Mm-hmm. And because it adheres on both sides, it's another quick way to tack something on your puppet or on the stage, on the theater, without having to wait a long time for the glue to dry. So he's going to cut like a little square of the mounting tape so he could put the googly eyes on, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So getting back to the eyelashes, here we have the black piece of felt. And I'm just going to score little lines. Don't cut all the way through to the end. I'm going to show you this in a second on the table so you can see what I've done. I'll put this here. Move this to the side. And you see how I cut the little teeny tiny strips of the eyelash. So that's a cool way to add more character to your puppet. We're going to take the eyelashes and let's just cut it in half and we're going to just mount some eyelashes on this puppet. I'm going to use the glue for this. Do you need help? You're doing all right? Yep. All right. So let's see. We're going to put some glue there. Kind of have to let that dry glue here. Let that dry. And then let's put some googly eyes on her. Do we want to just put maybe some uh, furry ball? No, let's use the uh, googly eyes. It could be a mustache, that's true. Yeah in case if you want to put more masculine features on your puppet. Okay, let's show the audience what Dylan did for his eyes with the foam mount tape. You see how quick that was? Boy, he's good at that. Right? Yeah, what I do now? Uh, you're gonna put, you were going to put the ribbon on his hair, remember? Yeah, but hold on. Before I do that, I want to try something. Okay, he's going to try something. I'm going to put some googly eyes on this character here. Oops. All right. There you go. Let's see here. Got all these googly eyes. Here. And here, I'm going to just put a few of these so you can kind of see what these look like at the craft store. They come in bags. There's a bunch of them that, call, that come all together, and sometimes they come in assorted sizes, so that's cool. Like you can get these great big googly eyes, little googly eyes, or like I said, 
you don't have to buy those. You could just use buttons. You can just buy buttons and glue the no, buttons. No, my, my idea didn't work. Okay, what were you wanting to do, dear? I was gonna put these in here and make like, and then I can make them like a product and be that Oh. Well, maybe that's something we'd have to make like out of paper or something. But you were going to put a ribbon on his hair like you did some kind of a very cool ribbon for his hair. Remember? Yeah, I remember. Where is it? You Where's put the it, ribbons? You put it in a different bag, remember? Some Let's different, see. I think you put it like in a different bag. No, it should be here. Maybe it fell. Maybe it fell. Well, he's looking for the ribbon. There it is. It fell. Oh, it's like new. So what yeah. I want to do yeah. with this ribbon yeah. is you know how sometimes, and like say you're in martial arts, like trained, you wear these things. Oh, yeah. And so that's what I'm going to put on him. Oh, that's a good idea, Dylan. You do that. I want to see how that comes out. It come out good. Okay. I already did it at home, so. All right. So here's what I'm telling you with the gl with the glue. Sometimes it's kind of messy. You kind of have to wait for it to dry. We're kind of like getting a little messy here, and the glue is not cooperating very well. But if you have the patience to put it on there, and what you have to do is just set it down. <laughs> let it dry and then you can tackle it again you got that yep all right look at this guys ah you got the you got the what do you call that karate thing you don't know it's just like a headband oh it's just like a headband that's very cool were you going to put a mouth on him or no um, um, or just leave them like that. I'll just leave them like this. Okay. But what I do want to do is make them like a little, like a little skeleton. Maybe. All right. Oh, you know what? Uh, two that Dylan thought of when we were at home earlier practicing. Uh, keep the puppet, keep the puppet on your hand because I was going to show him about the nose that you made. Oh, yeah. Uh, so when I was at home, I got one of these things. So I got a black one. I rolled it up to a ball, yeah. so I would throw it, yeah. and I would chase it down. He was playing, he was <laughs> and, playing. And I went to the, I threw it into the grandma's bathroom when yeah. she was putting on the makeup. I was putting on my makeup. And then I forgot where it is, and I didn't allow anyone to see me. And I found it on the floor. And then she picked it up, and I was like, oh, what's this? Oh, it's your thing. Uh, and then she said, oh, that's actually a good idea. It's a good idea because, look, keep the puppet on. We could actually put that for the puppet's nose. Yeah. Look, look at, at that. that. He's being creative even when he's not being creative. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not even thinking of what I'm Not doing. even thinking of being creative and you're still being creative, right? So that's an idea for a nose if you have pipe cleaners. Okay, so I think we're done demonstrating the puppets. The only other thing is you can add accessories like Grandma added some earrings onto Lola just to make give her more character, right? Yeah. And uh, you can add different elements to your puppet to make it who you want it to be. And you can have several characters because that always makes it fun when you're going to create a play. You have a good guy, you have a bad guy, you have a fun guy, you have all kinds of characters. A right silly here. guy. A silly guy. This one's cute. Like here's an idea of this one. We were going to actually put some teeth on it. Here's some teeth that, that I had cut out because we were going to put teeth on one of them, remember? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so... Here's an idea you can cut out just some jagged teeth with the felt, create a character that way. That would be fun. Again, the idea is to tack the teeth on with enough time to allow the glue to dry. But there's all kinds of ways that you can add to your puppets that will make it fun. 
I think we're just going to go ahead and move on to creating the stage. What do you think? Sure. This is a good time to do that. So let's move some of these characters out so we can make way for how to create your stage. What do you need, babe? I'm looking for that special tape. I don't know. Oh, here it is. I keep looking for what it is, where it is. There you go. Keep it okay. by me. Let's move these things out of the way. We're going to demonstrate how you can create a stage using cardboard boxes. And you might want to watch the whole thing, because when we're done, I might tell you something special. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Um, I can hardly wait to hear that. Uh, <laughs> I can hardly wait to hear that, Dylan. Just... All right, so let's move this aside over here. <laughs> you could. Okay, are you still with me, Dylan? Yes. All I'm right. We're going to work on the stage here. Okay. Let's move this stuff out of the way. So, the stage, like I said, you know, you can find different sizes of boxes, you know, that we're trying to reuse. Uh, things that might be available at home, not have to go out and buy a lot of stuff. And right now everybody's ordering things online and so they come and deliver your packages in the box. Instead of throwing it away, you might think of some creative ways that you can use the box. This is a box that I think a, a pillow came in and so we said, okay, let's take that box and create a stage out of it. And my other grandma that's at my house right now, mm -hmm. She's not even a bit good at arts and crafts, mm -hmm. and so every time I tell her, keep the box so I can do save something the boxes. with it. Yeah. Save the boxes. She just yeah. puts them away, makes me smash it. Yeah, there you go. So it just makes me put it in the recycle. And put, no, don't put it. You could put it in the recycle. That's a good thing to do with it if you're not going to use it for crafts. But sometimes, if you like to be crafty, this is a nice way. So what we did here is kind of we covered it up with all kinds of colored paper and then uh, grandma had an, an old scarf and then we cut the scarf up and made the curtain out of it. Well, you cut a scarf. Yeah, we painted some parts of it and grandma had these little wooden uh, knobs. But, you know, those, those are just uh, little details. You don't have to have all of these things. We're going to show you how you can do one with just a plain old piece of cardboard. Like sometimes you buy the kind of cardboard boxes that you use like for a science project that kind of look like this shape. This is very easy to work with. Or maybe you have a big box, this was a storage box, where you just cut, cut it down to three pieces, the, the one big piece where you can cut out the window in the center, and you might need an adult to help you cut out that window, and the two flaps that are going to prop it up, right? Get me in there. Get me in there. So what we're going to do is kind of show you an easy way. Instead of using a lot of paint to paint the cardboard, we use craft paper. Right, Dylan? Yeah. So let's get some of that craft paper so we can show them how easy it is. You could have paper like, could be like pieces of wrapping paper, like this is old Christmas wrapping paper. Like when you get presents. When you get presents, you know, sometimes you might want to save that paper. Look at how fun save that is. Save the paper. It could be tissue paper. Any kind of paper. Any kind of paper or the craft paper that you buy at the craft store. That's what we used here. So what we're going to do is to start to cover, right, Dylan? Mm -hmm. and, and, as, and as efficient as we can, start to cover the cardboard. That way we can show them how we finished the piece. Let's move this over here. 
and again, if you think of any questions as you're watching the demonstration, just type it into the Facebook. Let Miss Virginia know. So we're just adding some glue and very quickly, very easily cutting little squares and covering the... Are you with me? Yes. You need help? No, I'm fine. All right, because I'm making a lot of progress over here and you haven't even started gluing. I got it. Yeah, he got sticky stuff on his scissors, so... I got it. It's all right. Yeah. Okay, there you go. Yeah. Here's some glue. And then there was a stick here. I'm sorry, babe. There was a stick where we gonna put some glue. Here, you can use this. I'll put some glue for you here, okay? Okay. And then you can use your stick to, to dab the glue. Okay, so we're gonna just quickly cover all of the spaces here. <laughs> That's a good question. That's why I have so many spaces for a studio. Uh, Grandma's going to have to start throwing stuff away. But uh, as long as I have Dylan around for right now, sometimes I still have to uh, save some materials that I think that we can be creative with. Right, Dylan? Mm-hmm. Because he comes over sometimes and just unexpectedly will say, okay, let's make something and we're not going to drop everything and go to the store, that's for sure. So uh, it's fun to keep some inventive materials. A lot of times if you go to Walmart or the dollar store. Or Home Depot. Home Depot. Well, maybe not Home Depot so much. but <laughs> Maybe you need to get some wood for uh, can you make a tree house. Well, you know, more that's... Not, more of a instruction thing. Yeah, that's kind of hard. I, I can't build things with wood, that's for sure. Maybe <laughs> Grandpa can, but not me. <laughs> or your Mima can, but not me. <laughs> I can. I love building. But see how easily we're just tacking, like, big swatches of colored paper, whatever you have lying around to cover the surface of the stage. And, um, I do like this kind of art and craft, but I do do another kind. What other kind do you do, honey? Like digital, remember? Oh, yeah, he does, he's a very crafty boy. He does a uh, digital, I don't even know what you'd call that. It's like electrical. Electrical, yeah. He likes to dabble with all kinds of interesting things and keep is, his mind. What does dabble mean? Dabble, that means like, uh, like you piddle around or you kind of play around with things, right? Well, I'm not playing with them. I'm being well, smart. You're being serious, I know, but you're experimenting, in other words, right? Yeah, like... You're kind of experimenting with things. So anyway, you see what I'm doing here is just laying out different squares. There's no rhyme or reason. There's no wrong or right. It's just whatever appeals to you, right, Dylan? Mm -hmm. Just do you, boo. <laughs> Why do you say boo when I tell you not to? Why don't you want me to say boo? I don't like it. Oh my goodness. At all. At all, at all. No, never. All right, I won't say boo. Just do you. So, Dylan, I'm almost done with my side of the wall, and you're just getting started. Because I had lots to do. I had to cut off, cut off those strips. You're going to have to move a little bit faster, boy. I am moving fast. All right, so I'm almost done with this side of the wall. If we don't finish, then that's okay. I can show you how to do the curtain and the... Um, uh, Grandma created some stage lights. Right. If you were with us uh, last show, we did the crafts with uh, egg cartons, and we had a lot of fun with egg cartons. I hope you all had an opportunity 
to make some fun stuff with the egg cartons. I just spilled some glue on my hands, so now I get the glue from my hands. Do you need something to clean that off? Yes, we have like a rug. I do. Rug. I do. Okay. And um, keep a wet, wet rag with yeah, you. Yeah, it is handy to keep a little damp rag that you can clean the glue off, especially if you don't want to smear that glue all over the place. All right, so we're, Grandma's almost done with her side of the stage here. And I just barely got started. And Dylan's barely getting started. No, I should cut some more pieces out. You should. Okay. I just cut a little close for Go ahead. Um. Hey, uh, Grandma. Hey, Grandma. Mm-hmm. Can I cut a piece out, cause like a, a piece of this paper sure. out? Sure. And then I kind of need to bring a, that piece home with me. You could actually bring it home with you, yes. Okay. But what we were saying about going to the store, sometimes if, you know, they have uh, packs, like multi-craft uh, packs of, might have different assorted okay. items, maybe some Pipe cleaners, some go? googly eyes, and different things. Where did it go? What are you looking for, sweetie? Um, I dropped a piece of this. Well, just cut another one, hun. Okay. And your your pieces, look, you, look, you need to cut some pieces that are a bit bigger because look, we have all this surface to cover, hun. Okay. So. Grandma's almost done with her side of the stage here. I barely just got started. You just finished saying that, so we're making progress just the same. You're just gonna fill all the pieces of the cardboard to create your stage. And over here on the side where you're gonna crease it, the fold of the cardboard is you kind of maybe want to go and bend that part and create the crease in the paper before it dries and then you can't crease it anymore. But see how that paper uh, needs to kind of stick to where we can crease it. Why is this all over here? Why okay. I make my way? All right, let's move this over. Paper. Okay, Dylan, so we don't run want to run out of time before we're able to show how we finish the stage. So I'm just going to glue a few more pieces here, and then um, we're going to show how we put the curtain on the stage and finish the stage so we can demonstrate our puppets, okay? Mm -hmm. How does that sound? Good. Here, do you have a pencil here? Because I might need a pencil. No, babe, I, I don't. Here's a pencil, actually. Yes. There you go. I need a marker. You're being too precise, I think. What's precise mean? That means that you're being too uh, detailed. What does that mean? Detailed means you're paying too much attention to the little things. I'm not paying attention to the little things. Okay. Yeah, because look. We need to finish. All right. You done? Hold on. Don't need to mark this a little. There. What are you doing? There. There you go. Now I have to hold this. Like that. So you get the idea, right? I think everybody gets the basic idea. Let's go ahead. We're going to stand this puppy up. Okay. What, what puppy? There's this. no puppy in this room. <laughs> just like Bosco, you never let the dogs in the room, this including is, Bosco. It's just an expression, Dylan. What's an expression? Oh. An expression means it's I got just it. a saying. Okay. I got All it. right. So there you have it. The stage now. Remember I told you about the uh, egg cartons that we were having fun with the last episode. So here's a remnant, a piece of egg carton that was left over, and Grandma just kind of painted that kind of uh, to look like stage lights. So we're going to glue that up here. That's going to be the stage lights 
we want to make it look realistic so that you can get more into the drama of creating your puppet show. That's the whole idea, right? Mm -hmm. The more realistic it looks, then you get really excited and say, let's do this. Right, Dylan? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to use this foam back tape here in the interest of time so that we can hurry up and not have to wait for the glue to dry. Let's just cut some tabs here. And then, again, you can make this whatever size of box that you might have available. Yeah, this, is, this is what I was doing. I was doing it to oh, make Oh, I see. Okay, I get it. I get it. I'm just trying to make it a little complicated for myself. I see. Okay. <laughs> so here's the stage lights. We're going to put that right in the center. And right here on the bottom, you could put the name of your theater. Like if your name is Bobby, <laughs> right? You could put Bobby's Theater. Just write it on there. All right. Now for the curtain, here's what Grandma hold on, did. Hold on, hold on, hold on. One more piece. One more piece to tack it on. Uh, you might have an old scarf, like a bandana or something, lying at home, maybe. You have an old bandana. So you could... Cut it in half. No, let's not cut it. Let's just say we're going to tack it back here, on this side, with the foam tape. How does that look? Good. Or should we put it in the front, Dylan? What do you think? Oh, uh, we should put it in the back. Put it in the back? Uh-huh. Yeah, I'll get two pieces. So. Okay. Yeah, get two pieces of foam tape. Yes. All right, let's just put it like this. We're going to put this one here. And then give me the no, other. No, wait, hold on. I think it's an, I think you know an easier way. No, this is going to work, Dylan. Okay. Give me the other piece of foam tape. No, you cut it off. Yeah. All right. And so I. I'm just going to put the other piece of foam tape. And then I think I had put on the instructions another thing that might work if you have um, clothes pins. You could use your okay. clothes pins to put your your scarf. Oh, and you know, if you have a piece of cloth that you can cut up, that would work too. And you can cut up your scarf. We cut we cut the scarf into three parts. Can you see that? And that way, uh, you can stick your hand in here with the puppet. And the back part of the uh, stage curtain is still showing. In this case, what we're going to do is, uh, you got you got your puppet ready? Yep. Where's your puppet? Right here. We're going to show you how we're going to put this puppy to work. What do you mean, puppies? Do you want to move your stool over a little bit? Yeah. Can you fit in there to do the puppet show? You can fit anywhere. All right, so here we go. Let me get, get down, sit on my knees. You might want to stand up. Are you ready? Dun, da, 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 da. You could cut this here. Oh, hi, hi. Hi, hi everybody. My name is Lola. And Hello. this What's is your name? What's your name again? Lola. What? You might want to stand up so they can see you. Stand up. <laughs> My name is Lola. Can you see? What's your name? Bobo. Ah, uh, karate guy. What is your name? Karate guy. Karate guy. This is my friend, Karate Guy. How are you today? Good. Are you having fun with the crafty duo? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's wonderful. Tell everybody out there that we hope they will go home and make some fun puppets so they can create their own puppet show and they can share with everybody how fun it is. Okay, I'm gonna see what you say. Uh, what'd you say? <laughs> you don't understand what you say. 
I'm not going to repeat myself. Hello, hello, hello. This is Lucy. What's your name? Karate guy. I already told you. Karate guy. You're a tough guy, right? Mm, I eat pizza. That's all I ever eat. He I eat eats pizza. pizza. So you can see, everybody, half the fun is making it. And the other half is creating plays, entertaining plays for your family. Right, Dylan? You can hardly wait to go home and wait till your parents get there so you could put the puppet show on for them, right? <laughs> yes, yes. We're glad you joined us, everybody. I'm gonna set this down for a little bit. Bye. Bye. And we want to tell everybody if you want to share your puppet ideas with the community, make sure to send your photos in and we'll post them to the St. Paul's Church from Egg uh, Crafts, the last show, the first show that we did. Make sure to send those photos in. We'd love to see what you're making and what fun memories you're creating this summer. So we hope you'll join us in two weeks. We're going to have fun with um, sticks and stones. We're going to create fun with nature found objects using sticks and stones. Thanks you, for joining us. You said you can't work with wood. Sticks are wood. We can. That's right. <laughs> what little sticks we can. Now what are you supposed to say to tell everybody goodbye? Oh, I love you. We love you.